hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a unstuffing i'm just going to be unstuffing the bills that i have to take or that i have to pay for this week plus one additional one which i'll get into when we get to that point um so yeah and this is also kind of going to be like a little event session event sesh yeah let's call that like yeah that's what it's gonna be called event sesh <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. So I have my planner here and we are, and today is the 9th. It is currently like one in the morning. I can't sleep. Um, so I figured I might as well just knock out another video because why not? So this week... I already paid for my phone bill. I have to take on my Cricut Design Space payment for the subscription, my afterpay payment. Um, I'm also gonna take the afterpay payment from here because I already have it. So I, I know for a fact that it's better when you pay back like the afterpay payments early. They normally like increase your limit the next month when you do stuff like that. Um, so I'm also gonna take out my Apple Music and I'm gonna take out my car insurance as well so that I can take it back to the bank and it'll be on my card and ready to go when these need to get pulled out. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna go to my bills binder. So I'm pretty sure you guys all know that I have kiddos. I have my daughter who is three, just turned three, and my son who is about to turn six in February, and he is autistic. So we have my afterpay envelope here. So there should be twenty-four dollars in here, I think. Ten, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So bring this into frame more so yesterday was a little bit rough for me um so for christmas we got him like a tablet that turns into a computer that's touchscreen because we realized that he was doing coding on his other tablet uh car insurance and I'm also gonna highlight that this one is done. Um, so yeah, we got him a new tablet. He had the Amazon like kid Kindle tablet before that, but he was doing coding and that tablet wasn't like loading properly. I don't think it could handle what he was trying to do. So his dad was like, you know, if he's doing that, then I, I don't have a problem getting him, like, you know, a better tablet. And I was all for it. And I'm still for it. But last night, I tried taking it from him. And he doesn't really control his emotions, like, the best. Um, so 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. So... He was screaming, um, and he screams, he does his little screeches, which aren't that bad, but, like, my ears were ringing, and I get it, you know, he, he can't control his emotions, and I have been super emotional lately when it comes to him, and I, I don't know what is going on with me, because it wasn't like this before, um... But I stood in the room with him because when he gets like that, he tends to like just like his body will start like, I don't know how to explain it, like flailing and he just throws himself anywhere. Um, and there are sharp corners on the bed set that he has. So I, I 
I don't want him to like hurt himself so I can't leave him alone in those situations not that I would or want to but it also kind of it also is a little bit rough <laughs> not gonna lie because as a mom you know you know you don't want to see your kids like um upset or angry or whatever the case may be but it's so hard when you can't like help or like i just sometimes feel like really helpless um cricut design is 10 and what else do i have to take out apple music is 11 so sometimes i do feel a little defeated um i do watch a few other people and you know a lot of them say like sometimes you just gotta let them go through it and it's so hard it is so hard and i'm i'm trying not to get emotional here because like like i said i've been super emotional when it comes to him and like i want to do everything in my power to help him but maybe sometimes i need to like just step back a little bit and let him go through the emotions so that he knows how to self-regulate when he gets like that but like it's really hard anyone who is a parent knows how hard it is like not not just for autistic parents but like parents across the board even like there's people that consider pets animals and like any type of parent like you want to help your baby no matter what the case or situation is and it's just so hard when like you know you just you can't because you just can't um so today was a little bit better before we gave it back to him today we tried talking to him and giving him like a visual timer like okay so if i come back at 10 you can't scream and i'm gonna take it away and it's gonna be shower time and bedtime and he said okay but he doesn't really you know he said okay i'm pretty sure just to get the tablet um but you know today wasn't at nowhere near as bad as yesterday um not as long as yesterday and not too much of the screaming I love my kids like with every single bone and like everything inside of me like they are the reason that I keep going they keep me motivated to do more better for them and for us you know it's just a really hard situation but yeah I, I figured you know I could use a little vent sash because these guys are super supportive and anytime I'm going through something and it comes through on camera, these guys are super supportive and your comments definitely help me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like unload, I guess. Um, I could talk to my family um, and I do sometimes, but I can tell when I talk to them that like it hurts them you know because they see me in pain like anytime i talk to them i end up crying because you know they know that i am trying my best and like that's all i can do and if i could do more trust me i would but sometimes even that feels like you know i don't want to tell them and then have them you know feeling bad or anything but I know that they are concerned, so I do talk to them sometimes, but, you know, I never want my burdens to be their burdens, knowing that, you know, everybody has their own struggles. Um, so, yeah, let's see what I am taking back to the bank. I think I've vented enough before I start to actually cry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we are taking back to the bank 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 29 30 31 32 and 33 um i'm not gonna do a mini cash condensing because this is the beginning of the year so there's not much to cash condense um so yeah this is just going straight to the bank as is or, you, or maybe if i do condense i'll do it off camera but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed and this wasn't too heavy for you um if you did drop a thumbs up comment down below please don't forget to 
hit the subscribe button to join the princess of budget fam and on that note i hope you guys are staying safe staying blessed having an amazing day or night wherever you are and i will catch you guys in the next video bye